we know that anti-Muslim fear mongering and hate mongering like what we've seen led by Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump has consequences. An unknown domestic terrorist has firebombed the Islamic Society of Palm Springs, California, engulfing the front of the building in flames. Uh, we have a statement from Fire Department spokeswoman Jennifer Furman, who confirmed that it was intentionally set that the fire had been contained and that there was smoke damage throughout the building. And that incident came just hours after two Muslim women on the way home from their uh, from respective mosques in Tampa Bay, Florida, were attacked by passing motorists. So in case there is any doubt at all that anti Muslim attacks are on the rise in the United States, check out this graphic from CNN.com based on the council uh, based on data from the Council on American Islamic Relations. You'll notice that in November of 2015, we saw more than double and arguably close to triple the maximum number of attacks seen during any previous month in 2015 so far and December uh, off to a fast start, noting, of course, that some of the most recent attacks are not even yet included in this uh, in this chart, in this graph from CNN. So there's a real problem here because the left and right are both very confused about how to deal with this Islamic terror issue. As I've talked about, the right wants to go in the direction of Muslims are all or, or, or mostly all bad as people. All Muslims are dangerous. Let's keep all Muslims out. And obviously that is completely crazy on the left, though. There's elements of, of regression on the left where the regressive left wants to say we can't criticize Islam or Muslims at all when the reality is, and we know from that 2013 Pew Forum study, uh, that a disturbingly high number of Muslims around the world believe that there should be, for example, the death penalty for leaving the religion of Islam, or that there should be Sharia law as a system of law in countries as opposed to a non-Sharia law system. So. Both the left and right are not addressing this issue in the right way, and we're going to try to continue addressing it in the best way possible. So uh, what we know for sure, going and attacking random innocent Muslims is not the solution to anything. And that is what we should be focusing on stopping immediately, in addition to stopping the destructive effects of radical Islamic uh, uh, individuals. Uh, and we should be able to talk about all these things in a nuanced and reasonable way, something neither side seems to be able to do at this point.